mission and ignoring Federation law. Not only are the Ormus our enemy, but the Federation fleet and the Gnosis as well. It shouldn't be a problem with your skill, should it? I have high expectations for you. Gee, thanks. Tony, we're on! Leave it to me! Time to start the show!
looking for someone. I'm sorry, but I don't think you'll find the results you desire here. Dr. Sellers? I see. So you're the one behind Yuriev. I thought you'd been currying favor with Ormus. Why are you back with Yuriev? I don't care what the vessel is. I will make use of all available options to obtain what I desire. I've always built my own path. Do you realize how many innocent people you've dragged into your schemes? You're no different, you are TV. How many comrades did you sacrifice so that you could live? I... Exactly. To accomplish great things, it's only natural to ignore trivial sacrifices. But I was still unable to reach the level of that man. Everything I built was nothing more than pale imitations. Why? How much of a difference could there be between him and me? No. Perhaps this is exactly the difference between us. In the end, I too was that man's pale imitation. Sorry, but we don't have time to listen to an old man's ramblings. Where's my father? How should I know? You should be able to tell without asking me, shouldn't you? You are TV. What do you mean? You URTVs are connected to each other, right? Then just search to see where your comrade is now. Guinan? No, it can't be! Hmm. So, you really didn't know what 669's real purpose was. His real purpose? URTV's 668 and 669. Their real purpose was to destroy Unit 666. The Red Dragon. You. <gasps> and the final model, 669, also had an additional purpose. The rebirth of Dmitry Yuryev. What? A large number of designer children were created. For the live transfer experiments of organic beings during the early stages of the UMN, Dmitry Yuryev was one of them. That man is the original Salvatore. My father is the original Salvatore? He's the only one who ever returned alive from the transfer experiments. He made contact with Udu within the UMN and was overcome with fear. But in exchange, he also gained a special power. The same one that all URTVs have. The ability to transfer his mind to others. <gasps> 669, Nigredo, was born to be Yuriev's vessel. In order to overcome his fear of Udu, Dimitri continues to live to this day by mental transfer. And once he obtained the Y data, he found the method to defeat the fear. Fortunately, your people took very good care of one of the things necessary to accomplish that. So are emulators. Mizrahi didn't create the emulators just for decoration. In each one is a record of the wave pattern data of its corresponding vessel of anima. They're like an ignition laser for activating the original. Damn, he's after the Durandal. <laughs> of course, it's too late for you to do anything about it. You're insane! Insane? Oh, but of course. You can't change the world without a little insanity. <laughs> Damn you to hell! Don't get all excited. I have no intention of fighting you. My role was merely to buy time. That's all I can do, after all. Now get out of here. Or would you rather stay and be absorbed by Abel's Ark? Mm.
It's a waste of time, Junior. He's beyond reason. We need to get out of here. I say, pleased to meet you, Mary and Shelley Godwin. Oh! That body, is it Master Guinan's? This body's quite convenient. Once I got used to it, it was extremely easy to use. As you can see, this ship is already under Salvatore's control. What do you think you're doing? This ship is under the jurisdiction of the Milshin government. Yes, this action is in violation of the Federation Charter. It will be dealt with appropriately by the Milshin government. Do as you please. Though I doubt Helmer has that kind of power left. <laughs> <laughs> now. I'd like to put an end to this without making you suffer. But I'm afraid that's not an option. There are things I need you to tell me. What do you want? The Arbiter Code. <sighs> it's inside you, isn't it? That Helmer, he truly is something. Hiding the release code inside such cute young ladies. You. We don't know anything, and even if we did, we aren't about to tell you. <laughs> Please don't waste your time. Besides, I think you've forgotten something. If you damage this body, then you'll lose your precious master. You're a URTV. It's nice to meet you. I am number 668. 
but you can call me Citrine. Lovely, isn't she? Her abilities are equal to and on par with those of Negredo. I trust you understand what that means. It would be a shame to have to see those beautiful faces twisted in pain now, wouldn't it? So I do hope that you're prepared to talk voluntarily. <laughs> What's the status of the Durandal? Not good. It's probably been captured by Omega and the Federation fleet. They were caught totally off guard. They didn't have a chance to counterattack. Their ally attacked them without warning. It is not surprising. Have there been any calls from the Durandal? We're calling them, but there's no response. It'd be best to assume the bridge has already been occupied. That bastard wouldn't take action for no reason. He must be after the Zohar emulators. Captain, turn us back toward the Durandal. Wait a minute, little master. Omega's right there. I know, but we have to go. I can't abandon them. But don't say anything to me right now. I'm not cool-headed enough to keep calm after seeing something like this. I know. This time, even I'm going to get emotional. I can't stay quiet after what they've done. Yeah. First, we'll rescue the survivors. Let's go!
Avant Guard. Give up, you can't escape. I'm built pretty tough. Little Master! Mary! You're okay! Wait, did they... It's nothing. Just a scratch. Don't worry about it. Mommy! Momo, I'm so glad to see you. Thank goodness. You're okay. Momo, don't worry about me. Please tend to Mary's injury. Oh, right. Please show me the wound. What's happening on the ship? How many survived? You've probably seen for yourselves, but we were wiped out before we could fight back. Where's Shelly? Don't tell me she's... No, Shelly's safe. She's likely held prisoner in another location. I'm sorry I put you through this. Don't apologize. We knew you'd come. We always believe in you. Good girl. The Elsa's in the dock. Can you make it that far? Of course. You don't have to worry about us. Save Shelly, little master! Don't worry. Leave it to me. Yuli, please take care of Mary. I will. All of you be careful, too. Engaging with maximum output. All systems functioning normally. Little Master. Shelly, are you okay? I'm fine, but the Arbiter Code has fallen into enemy hands. I'm sorry. I failed to stop them. Don't blame yourself. None of you did anything wrong. Yuriev is likely headed to the isolated hangar to release the seals on the emulators. I overwrote the gate ID, but it's only a matter of time before it's broken. Don't worry, I'll stop them! The Elsa's in the dock! Kanan, escape and take her there! Understood. Be careful, little master. Right! Don't worry!
All systems. Number 666. It's been a long time. Huh? Junior? C Citrine! I'm so happy to see you. You're the only comrade I have left. Comrade? She's a URTV as well. Yes, female type number 668, Citrine. She's a variant URTV like us. If you're on guard here, then Dad must be inside. And if he is, I won't let you interfere with Father. Are you an idiot? Don't you understand what's going on? If we don't stop him, this entire universe will be in danger. You're the one who doesn't understand, Rubido. Have you forgotten our duty? Our mission is to destroy Udu. It doesn't matter what happens to the universe as long as we accomplish that. So Dad plans to use the power of the emulators and the original to destroy Udu? A failure who's forgotten his role as a weapon and abandoned his duty has no right to speak to me. Citrine, stop! I don't want to lose any more of my comrades! Comrades? You abandoned us. You're no comrade to us. Citrine! I forgot to mention, but I have one more duty. I have the power to destroy the Red Dragon, just like Negredo. Do you think you can defeat me?
I refuse. I refuse to accept this. Why were we born? For what reason do we exist? Answer me, Rubido. You betrayed your comrades. You killed your brother. Why are you still alive? To keep my promise. Your promise? Yes. The reason I exist is to keep the promise I made. You're still haunted by that woman's shadow. I pity you. What could that alarm be? That bastard! He activated the emulators! <laughs> so, they disposed of Citrine. What is it? Oh, I see. You're sad. You had a connection to that unit. But that's nothing more than an illusion. You are weapons. You see, you're nothing more than one of my parts. You don't need any meaningless emotions. Anything more is completely unnecessary. Behold this glorious picture. My revenge will begin. My time of victory against his terror has finally come. <laughs> you filthy bastard! Stop the emulators now! Is that you, Rubido? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I must say I've missed you. Listen! We both know what'll happen if you even think about touching those. Give back Garnet's body and get the hell out of here! Oh, I am so disappointed in you, Ruby Doll. This circumstance is your fault entirely. There's no one else to blame but yourself, and I'm afraid I've been forced to take matters into my own hands. Since those incomplete units failed their mission 15 years ago. My fault? Oh, yeah? Are you planning on using the emulators in Omega to destroy Udu? No, no, it isn't that sort of thing. Nothing can ever destroy Udu. I guess you really don't understand the reasons why I am here. All right then, fine! Why are you here? In ancient times, people used to be together with God. People loved God, revered, and even feared God. Out of fear of the undying god, they sought divine power. This was a way for the ancients to resist him. Eventually, they found a method to become gods themselves. We have revived their relics, the Merkaba and the Zohar emulators, as well as Mizrahi's Y data, which holds the records left behind by the ancients. This holds the instructions so that we may become gods once again. You see, Udu is a god of this dimension. If in fact God cannot be destroyed, then we shall be the ones to become gods ourselves. Farewell, my son. I must go now. Remember your great father. Damn it! Momo, can we stop the emulators? No, we can't. The controls are destroyed. There's no way to stop them. The 
ship is moving. The Durandal's beginning to turn. That means it's heading for the Ark. Damn it. Dad's going to ram the ship and the emulators right into the Ark. Now what? We'll purge the dock and escape. It's going to be rough, but we don't have any choice. Let's go! It's no good, little master. The remote control isn't working. We can't perform it from here. Then we'll just have to do it by hand. That's insane. A regular person would be caught up in the explosion caused by the purge. Hey, there's someone outside. It's chaos and cosmos. What is she doing? Cosmos, now! Tony, come on! Break through now! Yeah, yeah, got it! Let us begin. Restore what was once rightfully mine. Detecting an enormous gravity deviation from inside. It is not a gnosis. It is likely caused by surplus energy leaking from Omega after absorbing the Zohar. It's an astounding amount of energy. With energy of this colossal magnitude, I guess his talk of joining the rank of gods may not have been a bluff. Does he really intend on becoming a god? Omega's awakening is confirmed. So it would seem. For the shift to the higher dimension, Yuriev will likely attempt to absorb Zarathustra. This may cause some effect on the system. That is not the only function of Zarathustra. The measures I've taken are not recorded in the Y data. The information he obtained is incomplete. Let us watch over the proceedings. He's a truly fascinating human being. In order to conquer his fear, he chooses to absorb that fear and become that fear himself. Shall we send Albedo for the retrieval? He wants to go, doesn't he? It's what he's always desired. It will also work out well for the awakening of the vessels of Anima. It will take a little more time before she awakens. 
In the meantime, let's enjoy the entertainment. Morgulus, what is it? Your Eminence, our fleet has already sunk 70% of the Federation fleet. All that remains is to await your order. Give us the order to attack the Ark. Morgulus, I don't even recall giving you an order to move the fleet. Why should we stand by and watch while the original Zohar is right before our eyes? Dmitry Yuryev has already taken action. We can't just hand it over without any protest. Know your place, Morgulus. Just follow my orders. But... That is all, Morgulus. You are not permitted to touch the Ark. Pull back the fleet and leave Mictum. Your Eminence. What does this mean? Is he saying to give up on the Zohar? I don't know. But don't you feel as if something has been out of place? Ever since Ren Le Chateau appeared? It's as if we are no longer acting for our own objectives, but for some other will. Are you insinuating that his eminence is betraying Ormus? Such insolence will not be forgiven. Even for you, Chief Inquisitor. I am aware of that. But still... I know we have to do something. But just how are we supposed to get close to that thing? We don't even know the enemy's location. What part do you want me to stick this ship in? How about you stop talking and use your heads a little? Indeed. You've got all these people here, and yet none of them are useful. Doctus, why are you... Who's that? She's an extremely skilled Scantia agent. Oh, is that you, Jin? You have the same enigmatic expression on your face you always do. And I see you haven't changed either. It's rather unusual for you to show your face here. I contacted her. What? Why would you contact someone like her? My, are you sure you want to be that rude to me? You'll regret it later. She has a plan that can solve our current dilemma. That's why I called her. What plan? A way to get inside that thing. Huh? It's simple. You just need to gate out inside of it. That way you can infiltrate it and no one can stop you. A short jump within the same signal? Can that be done at this short a range? If it's us, yes. Even if we do that, we don't know where Dad is. You should be able to tell where Guinan is. Right, you are TV? <gasps> I gave my gift to that Reallian. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint me now. Momo, analyze this. This is the gate-out interference program that Scientia uses. With this, we can ignore the signal and dive out by force. Well, isn't she clever? So we use this to get dead, huh? Okay, Hammer, replace the gate jump program. We don't have much time. Get it ready now! Kanan, we have to move out right away. 
What is it? Are you checking something out? Chaos. Have you ever wondered why you exist? One's reason for existing? That's a difficult question. I'd like to think it's for the people I care about. For everyone. But my existence doesn't necessarily mean people will be happy. Yes. Sometimes just existing can hurt others. Chaos. You know, don't you? That I am such an existence. You remember? Yes. With the information on Program Kanan, and all this data, there's no way I wouldn't remember. Codename Lactus. Yes. That's my reason for existence. But you didn't desire that. It's not by your own will. You're not responsible. Even if it's all happening in my subconscious, it's still my responsibility. I was created for that purpose. To reject Program Kanan is to reject my own existence. You could hide who you are and continue to live. But that's not the answer you seek, is it? Correct. I cannot deny myself. I am a Realian. The only one who can give me a reason to exist is the one who created me. Chaos. If only that had been you. What should I do now? Kanan. Transfer column signal confirmed. Initiating jump now.
What is this place? A dead end? No. I can feel his waves from inside. Dad's ahead, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. But we can't proceed like this. We have to think of a way. Wait! I sense the Zohar emulator waveform from those four spheres. Emulators are inside those spheres? Yes. The effects of the emulators are likely causing space to bend. That is blocking our path. So if we shut those down, then we'll be able to keep going? I think that might be possible. <laughs> that bastard had to make this hard. Hang on, Guinan. I'm coming for you!
engage him with maximum output. Stay sharp. What is this? I feel an incredible amount of energy. The entire room is resonating with the emulators. How does it look, Jim? Is there a way to shut them down? Hang on, I'll check it out! of Gnosis attached to the emulators. Junior, get back. You can't take it alone.
the emulators vanished. The room's resonation seems to have stopped as well. Momo? Yes. The spatial distortion is steadily returning to normal. Okay, let's go stop all the remaining emulators. systems functioning normally. <laughs> <laughs> 